my research began in um, biomedical research and then after a uh, few years during my PhD period I met sponges and I have found that sponges are very interesting. In particular uh, we studied uh, sponges producing a skeleton in biosilica. We move also to sponges that uh, do not uh, produce uh, biosilica, but sponges that have uh, their uh, skeleton made by organic compounds. Chondrosia reniformis, uh, we found uh, together with other uh, colleagues uh, that this animal is able to etch uh, quartz and to use uh, silica as a chemical stimulus uh, for collagen production and from collagen gene expression. And then we finally decided to focus our interests in collagens from chondrosin. Recombinant collagen should be a good biomaterial both for tissue regeneration devices or for cosmetic materials. Like all the other animals and plants, uh, if you want to know uh, the behavior of these animals or plants in the natural environment, you can study in the natural environment uh, uh, as well. But if you want to know uh, the behavior of genes and of proteins, it's better to have these animals or at least cells or tissues of these animals in a controlled uh, uh, environment. So, uh, for molecular biology studies uh, of uh, sponge biology, premorphs uh, should be the best systems that are these small uh, tissue parts that regenerate uh, something like small sponges. And if uh, your specific animal do not uh, give premorphs with the, the until now known protocols, you should use fragmorphs. Of course, fragmorphs are more complex because you have cells and you have also tissues and so on. Instead, premorphs are simpler because you have cells, only cells. We thought that the description of the mechanisms by which chondrosia produces collagens should also help to understand the mechanisms at the basis of collagen production also in superior beings and in particular in mammalians. Chondrosia uses these small quartz grains as a physiological tool for collagen production. The inhalation of silica dust by human beings and mammalians generates collagen production in lungs. As you know, collagen production is the beginning of fibrosis. Our opinion is that this mechanism has ancient origins that was the physiological behavior of the sponge. These are the starting point of the reason why it's important to work with marine biotechnology.